Why did they get involved? Sometimes I wonder. But uh, it's been a lifelong re relationship with horses ever since I, I can remember. This is uh, Rommel's River. He worked yesterday at Rita Racetrack, so he's just gonna go be walking in the machine today, the hot walker. Well, I started shooting back in the early 60s out of sheer necessity because I couldn't afford to pay. I traded uh, my services. I used to break horses for, a, for a, a man that was a shoeing instructor during Second World War, and he taught me for about a year and a half the different uh, phases of horseshoeing and and how to correct problems. Hey, hey, hey. All right, this is the heel of the hoof, okay, and it should be level with the other one. And you want to put the shoe as far back as you can so that the, the heel will have protection. This horse, Pleasant Ed, is my favorite <laughs> because he's the easiest one to get along with. You're out here with the animal. And sometimes it's better than being around certain humans. Right now here in Tucson, the going rate for a racehorse is 60 to 70 dollars depending on the type of shoe that you put on the horse. Oh, I, I have always liked to shoe horses and I think that that I have uh, helped horses in the past and that to me has been rewarding. He's ready to go back into his stall. Really, it's not really the money here. It's uh, it's the challenge of it, and and there's a lot of uh, personal reward in uh, racing uh, your own racehorses. Kip's Irish Lad, Make the News, Sugar Bear Shelby, Whipping Mula. We have somewhere over 400 wind pictures that we won over the years. And those those pictures really bring a lot of good memories back to us. All set. There, off and running. Very quick start for Pleasant Eddie. Rockets out to sprint away by three lengths early. He's a real fast horse coming out of the gate. You know, there are so many uh, feelings that come through you that uh, just, I, I personally get real nervous. At the top of the lane, Pleasant Ed set down for the drive. He cuts the corner, leads it by Alec. He just opened up on him. On by too many links, they just couldn't catch him at the end. He just coasted in. Pleasant Ed romping in. Pleasant Ed wins it by five. And you can see that all the family was involved because they're on the wind picture with a big smile. One of my other daughters came in this morning and she said, you're a grandpa. Again, you want to get in with grandpa? We're going to apply some tincture of iodine on his umbilical cord to prevent any infection. Yeah, another week's time, his legs are going to be just straight as can be if that long. I would say he's about eight hours. It's nature's way, uh, they know where to look for it. They're hot, hot chocolate as we call it. Every time a baby's born, you know, I mean, your mind just wanders, you know, and says, oh, now I have a good one. Hey, guy. Hey, hey, guy. Hey, you gonna be a fast racehorse, huh? He's got everything going for him. You know, now he's gonna have some good luck. <laughs>